What up, folks? I'm UltraZilla. Today I have reviewed the Diamond Select Toys Gallery Diorama Godzilla 1993. That's right, my Zillions. Courtesy of DST, and I do thank them for the continued support. We uh, we have the Godzilla 1993, another one of these awesome dioramas designed by Joel Allard and sculpted by Jorge Santo Souza. That's amazing. From Godzilla vs. Method Godzilla 2. That's right, we uh, originally got the Rodan, right? from uh, that movie, from the poster, and now we got Godzilla, and he's in there. Th this uh, opening is like happening <laughs> while I'm in progress of, uh, you know, unboxing this guy. I figured, you know what, I'm only gonna unbox this guy once because this packaging is enormous, so <laughs> let me finish film this part. But anywho, there you go. That is the giant, the box. I'm gonna get him out. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. And here's Godzilla out of the package. It's giant, guys. You forget how big these things are until you get another one and wow. Uh, Big honking piece of plastic, super solid, looks really pretty cool. I like that his uh, dorsal fins are lit up. I do have a little bit of scratching on some of them, unfortunately, but overall, I do like the effect that DST is going for here, uh, and it looks pretty decent, especially since they gave him a little bit of a flame effect in his mouth. Now, can you pull this out? Not on mine, I tried to jiggle it. it must be glued really into there. I wish they made it so you could, just cause, uh, I don't know. I, I gotta say, I'm not sure, I'm, you know, I think it's kinda cool. I, I think it would've been cooler maybe if it was just this little part on the inside there and not the uh, long thing here, just cause it just kinda feels like it would have been cool if it was just starting to spark there instead of starting to shoot. Um, the effect itself is nice. There's no doubt about it. It looks pretty cool. But, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna. I, I'm probably going to customize this to just a little bit for my own needs. I probably... I, I do like this. I think I'm going to try to get this part out of there for myself. But you guys uh, and your mileage is going to vary. The rest of the head sculpt is pretty uh, decent looks pretty good i like how the eyes are painted the mouth you know has got some gnarly teeth but it works yeah the eyes are painted well you can see from the front it looks really good the nose looks good nice texture on there i do have what looks like a little bit of like i think it's glue it might be paint but it looks like glue to me over there okay i could i definitely could fix that uh, or it could be a little bit of drool <laughs> Because you do get a little bit of that white stuff right there, too. So, I don't see it on this side. So, whatever it is, it's only on uh, that side. Uh, but, you know, overall, I think the head sculpt is pretty good. The neck looks really good. There is, like, a little bit of, like, a little whitewash over the gray, it looks like. The neck looks pretty good. The chest is pretty nice. Let's zoom out a little bit here. The chest is pretty nicely sculpted. The arms got a lot of nice little folds and wrinkles. You get, you get a little seam mark there, but that's okay. The arm here looks pretty good. Fingernails there on this side. Fingernails there look all right. Got a little bit of like orangish on the yellow, but th this arm looks really good too. I do dig that. Then he's holding pieces of the Garuda, and that looks awesome. I think that looks really good. The gunmetal silver looks awesome. The sculpt. Oh my god, this guy's so heavy. <laughs> the sculpt is pretty good. Get it from a different angle here. Uh, it, pretty good sculpt. It is a little soft, but it's not bad. It does look like nice and beat up, which it should. That's the effect it's going for. I like how the red is nice and weathered on this, these parts here. 
That looks pretty good. I like this part. All of this looks good. You can see where Godzilla's claws kind of went into it. That's pretty awesome. Top here looks really good. From this angle, looks really, really nice. Again, the dorsal fins look really good. Had a couple scratches on one side. It's all right. Couple more there. Going down to the tail. Nice curve. That looks really nicely done. Oh man, I really like that curve. I think it's pretty cool, I gotta say. In the front here, the bottom part, look at all these folds and wrinkles. A lot of nice sculpt work going on here. The legs, nice and chunky. Heisei, I do I dig that. Now checking out the base last. This is awesome. You got another piece here, which looks amazing. You know, that original, like, kind of Mecha Godzilla arm. That's really awesome looking. Really, really like it a lot. A little uh, thing here, a little, uh, whatever are these called, Mazer Cannons. That looks awesome. Little threads there. The base itself, rocky base, looks really good. Concrete. This, I guess, is supposed to be all smoke. And that's pretty nice I guess it's supposed to be smoke um, it's a little dark the color I feel like I guess I, I, I get why they did the color because I, I would have thought gray but then you got all this gray here so I, I guess yeah it could it could make it like this piece here of tail looks good Mecha Godzilla tail so obviously this is like the poster version esque these look good. Yeah, it's all smoke. It looks, you know, <laughs> the more you look at it, the more you're like, oh yeah, that's smoke. A um, little bit of metal in here. The base itself is so nice. On the bottom, you really got nothing going on there. But I think that's a really pretty nice base. I gotta say, I really like all the, like, Mecha Godzilla Garuda parts. Very, very, very cool. Overall, this guy is pretty cool, and I do want to address this one more time because I had to, <laughs> I had to go look at the poster again, and you know what? He is uh, sparking out, and it is coming out in the poster, so uh, kudos to them for going back and actually doing this. So I guess I, my only thing is it would, you know, maybe a little bit shorter still because you, you know what it is? It's like it does become a little bit floppy. But I digress. It's supposed to be there. So uh, kudos to them for actually putting it in when initially it wasn't in the picks. So uh, I do uh, appreciate that for sure. So yeah, I mean, proportions are really good on this. And everything is pretty nice. My only like QC type of things is a little bit of white going on in the mouth and, the, you know, some scratching on the dorsal plates. Otherwise, it's pretty awesome. For size comparisons, you know what? It This really only needs one, honestly. There you go. Now, yes, it kind of fits nicely in front. And now you got yourself uh, a pretty awesome display here from the Orai no Ryoshi poster. Uh, was it Orai no Ryoshi? Hmm. <laughs> I actually... <laughs> I think I might have messed that up, but um, maybe not. But that looks amazing. I gotta say, that looks awesome. If they give us a giant Mechagodzilla to go behind that as well, that would be insane. But I'm 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 kind of happy with these two together. Like their Godzilla and King Ghidorah statues that went perfectly together. These just look awesome. Uh, and once you do this and your display is complete... That, there's nothing else that needs to be said. That is just so cool. But for one other size comparison, if you want to get more of a sense of scale, here is the Ichiban Show Godzilla 21. And my final thoughts, you know what? I like this thing. Uh, as soon as I put Rodan in front of it, uh, and I, I got another look at that poster, you know, I, I, I kind of changed my mind about the effect part in the mouth. Um, I do think it should be a tad bit shorter, uh, but, Otherwise, I'm really glad it's there. It really makes it when you put it with Rodan. It's just so cool. The base is really nice on this, and the bases match. 
uh, on Godzilla and Rodan, which is good, you know, that, uh, that color uh, for the smoke. So that's good too, you know? I, I just got some scratching and a little bit of white on the mouth. Otherwise, I think this is pretty good, guys. I really do. And uh, if you got the Rodan, man, you gotta get a Godzilla. <laughs> uh, I think you would, right? I think you would, but, you know, seeing them together, I think you should get both. I really do. Um, I think it's just such a nice display piece from one of the best movie posters, not just in the franchise, but of all time. I I'm not even joking. That's one of my favorites. And there you go, guys. Thanks to DST for sending this over for a review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And please like, comment, subscribe, share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.